this is an interesting hadith in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam had an interesting conversation with the shaitan in which the Prophet asked the shaitan about his friends, the shaitan's friends. And the shaitan gave a list of people, 10 categories, 10 kinds of people who are his friends. And we elaborated on them. Then after that, the Prophet asked him about his enemies, the shaitan's enemies. Who are his enemies? So the shaitan answers, and he tells the Prophet that I have 15 enemies. So the Prophet ﷺ inquires from the shaitan about his enemies. Who are they? Qala khamsatu ashar nafar. 15 people are my enemies. Awwaluhum anta ya Muhammad. Inni ubghiduk sallu ala Muhammad wa He tells the Prophet that you're my number one enemy. The Prophet is his number one enemy. Who else? Wal alim al amili bil ilm. Alim, scholar who applies his knowledge. Alim who follows his preaching. Alim who practices what he preaches. That's his enemy, the shaitan's enemy. Who else? Wahamil al-Quran idha amila bima fih. The one who carries the Quran, yet he implements the Quran. There could be people who carries the, carry the Quran, but they do not implement the Quran. There could be people who recite the Quran, but they do not implement the Quran. That's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam says, رُبَّتَالٍ لِلْقُرْآنِ الْقُرْآنُ يَلْعَنُ There could be a person reciting Qur'an, but the Qur'an yet curses him. Because he recites the Qur'an, but he does not implement the Qur'an. He turns the Qur'an into a song only. Song. To make people happy. To excite people to offer people some pleasure by just listening to the Quran without implementing the Quran. That's another enemy of the shaitan. The person who carries the Quran, yet he implements the Quran, who translates Quran into actions in his or her life. That's an enemy to the shaitan. A man who remind us of salah five times a day. A man that we call Mu'addin. Unfortunately, in some traditions, in some societies, people pay someone to do the adhan. While Islam wants us all to be Mu'addin. You don't have to get paid to do the adhan. A person who does the adhan can do it on his own. It's an honor to do the adhan. Because basically when you do the adhan, you are reminding people of their duty. That's why one of the titles of the mu'addin, the one who calls for the adhan, is da'i Allah. The inviters on behalf, the inviter on behalf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a dispatcher. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dispatches the mu'addin to invite you. To invite you to his invitation. So when the Mu'addin does the Adhan, all he is doing, he is encouraging people to fulfill God's invitation. So a true Mu'addin, not the one who is making living out of it. Rather, someone who does this just to seek closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is shaitan's enemy. بعد, who, who else shaitan's enemy والمساكين واليتامى. a man who shows affection to the poor to the needy and to the orphans this person is an enemy to the shaitan 
Shaitan doesn't want you to help the needy. Shaitan doesn't want you to help the orphans. Shaitan doesn't want you to help the poor. Shaitan wants you not to help them. If you choose to help those three categories, those three people, in fact, you are the enemy of the shaitan. Who else? rahim, A person with a soft heart. One of the characteristics of the mu'mineen, true believers, is that they have soft heart. One of the characteristics of the prophet, that he is rahim, he has a soft heart, merciful heart. لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِدْتُمْ حَرِيصٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَؤُوفٌ رحيم. Allah describes his messenger as Rahim. Rahim means the extra merciful. The extra merciful. Ultra merciful. This is one of the characteristics of Islam. Rahma, Deen al-Rahma. The religion of rahmah and mercy. I was talking to a friend, a convert, two days ago actually. And why he converted to Shia Islam? He was telling me why he converted to the Ahlul Bayt school of thought. He says because before the school of thought I was following, it was teaching me that all other people other than your sect other than the followers of your own madhab are kuffar and they deserve killing. I did not taste the true meaning of rahma till I converted to Ahlul Bayt school of thought. You know, our, one of our imams says when you see a disabled, a disabled person, a person who lost vision, lost hearing, lost mobility, anything, a disabled person. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Lower your gaze. لا تنظروا إلى أهل العاهات فإن ذلك يؤذيهم. When you see someone disabled, don't look at him. Lower your gaze. Because when you look at them, indeed you are hurting their feeling. You see how sensitive Islam is? That we're not talking about killing someone about looking at someone. Your look becomes a crime, becomes a, a sin when you look at someone who is disabled and by looking at them you hurt their feeling, then you cannot look at them. That's how merciful Ahlul Bayt are. That's how merciful this religion is. That you cannot hurt people even when your look turns into a mean to hurt other people. Don't do that. One of the enemies of the shaitan is the one who humbles himself before haq, meaning he says, whatever haq says, I will accept it. Even if haq says something against my own interests, I go with it. I choose what the haq, what the truth says. I do not choose my own arrogance. There are often people who follow the truth, religion, as long as it does not collide with their own arrogance, with their own interest. The minute it collides with their own interest, he is no longer willing to follow the haq and truth. But the enemy of the shaitan would accept haq and truth even if it collides with his interest. And wa shabun نَشَأَ فِي طَاعَةِ اللَّهِ يُصَلِّي بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّاسِ نِيَامِ And finally, a young man who is teaching himself the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who wakes up in the middle of the night not to watch his favorite movie or goes to his favorite game, Rather, he wakes up in the middle of the night to pray while everybody is sleeping. He wakes up to do, to perform Salat al-Layl. This is the enemy of the shaitan. And the opposite is true. A young man who wakes up in the middle of the night to 
to listen to music, to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is indeed he's the friend of the shaitan. So teach your kids to be the enemy of the shaitan. Raise your kids in a way that they will not be the associate of shaitan or his friend.